plaintiff, Kathy Bays, dated the defendant's brother, and she says she and the defendant were friends until she discovered the defendant is a conniving thief. Kathy claims the defendant called CPS and falsely accused her of being an unfit mother, and she's suing her today for loans and stolen clothes. Defendant Jessica Wolf admits that she called Child Protective Services on Kathy because Kathy is an unfit mother who spends her money on drugs instead of feeding her children. Jessica is countersuing for bank fees, harassment, and emotional distress. Start with you. Um, I met Jessica. I used to date her brother. We mm -hmm. were really good friends. After um, me and her brother broke up, I thought we were still good friends. Obviously, we weren't because she's a conniving thief. She went and called Children's Services on me and told them I don't feed my daughter. Why? Um, I don't have, because she was upset because Your I Honor. told her that I was going to file a lawsuit because I wanted my money. That day, Children's Services came to my house telling me that somebody said, I don't feed my daughter, mm. I live in a house with no water, and my daughter's dirty. And I do drugs. I had to do a drug test. They came and investigated me. Did you do that, man? Yes, I did. Why? Um, Your Honor, there's times where she asked, I watched her, children, asked though, right? her to borrow money, and I would do it. Your Honor, she's got a bong and everything, a weed, still sitting on her nightstand where her daughter can get a hold of it. She'd rather go out and spend money on no, drugs, no, no, no. alcohol. Let's talk about not feeding the child. That's a very inflammatory she... allegation. That day, Children's Services came to my house telling me that somebody said, I don't feed my daughter, mm. I live in a house with no water, and my daughter's dirty. And I do drugs. I had to do a drug test. They came and investigated me. Did you do that, man? Yes, I did. Your Honor, she's got a bong and everything, a weed, still sitting on her nightstand where her daughter can get a hold of it. Plaintiff Kathy Bays is suing her former friend, who admits that she called CPS on Kathy because she buys drugs instead of feeding her children. Let's talk about not feeding the child. That's a very inflammatory she, allegation. She asked me if I would go get her food. I told her on Friday I would bring her food. She wanted money. Instead of me bringing her food, she wanted money. Did you bring her food? No, because Why? she wanted money. And I'm not about to give people I'm money. I'm confused. I thought she called you and said, bring me food. She did. And then I told her on Friday. And then she said that she wanted money and said the food wasn't good enough. You because, didn't bring the food, though. Well, I was going to, but the food wasn't good enough. Okay. She wanted the money so she could go out and get her the food. But she doesn't have a car. OK. Her car got impounded because she went out of gas, so, and I was a nice friend to come get okay. her. So you called on that day because the kids didn't have food that day? She always tells me that her daughter does I'm not, not have milk. I'm not talking about always. I'm referring to that day. What triggered you to call that because day? She asked because me you for just the money. said that she never feeds them. She always has drugs. What triggered it that day? Because that day I told her I would bring her or bring her the food, and she mm -hmm. wanted money instead, and I she wanted it for drugs. So how do you know she wasn't feeding them that day? I didn't. But she, I mean, but you told the uh, social services she wasn't. <laughs> no, I didn't tell them that. I told them that they, she never fed her daughter. I didn't say that so day. So never means that day, believe it or not. Well, yeah. Yeah. But like I meant to say, like, not, like there's never time. I, I would call her and she would be sleeping, letting her three year old. No, but I want to know what you told them, not you giving I, me all these general statements. Them. And as you say, you let her keep your children, even though she was living such a destructive I life. I didn't know she until starves then. kids. She cut my kids with my brother. My, my brother was living with her when she cut okay. my kids. All right, and he so was I making trusted, sure they ate. Yes, I trusted my brother. Okay, so she only stopped feeding them when she broke up with him. <laughs> my, my brother was the one there feeding while, yeah. while she was sleeping. And how did you sleeping. find out she wasn't feeding them anymore? Um, because she's always texting me saying that I'm starving. She, not, she never she never Always? Food in how her many house. times? Oh, Your Honor, plenty of times. Okay, you ha you keep looking down. So obviously, you have yes. something that you're going to show me where she says, I'm starving. That is very, uh, very damaging to a person to call uh, children's <laughs> services on them. That is extremely damaging. And people use that as a tool to get back at people, just like they use it as a tool to play custody games. Let's see it. I want to see the part where several times she said, I'm starving. <laughs> I am starving here. Have you heard anything about your taxes? I really need my money. I, I see her saying that too. 
Can you give me any money? I see that part. You, she says you owe her money. You're going to have to circle the other ones. I see one okay. incident of saying that she's starving, and I think she was saying that in the context of asking for her money. And that's what people say. And I need my money, man. I'm starving out here. You owe me money, man. I'm starving. Give me my money. But if she said it regularly and several times, as you say, then maybe I'll give a little more credence. I'm reading, I'm reading. <laughs> it's in one of these. All right, take your time. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I must not have brought it because it's not in oh. either of these. You should have been suing her for that. Go ahead. Um, that's so malicious there, prosecution. That's defamation. Oh, it's, it's that's a bunch of stuff. It's horrible. It's right. like I told everybody, you know, I could call children's services on her, but yet she has an open case where her daughter had a burn on her ankle. It's not an open From case. What? And it's I, not a burn. I don't know what happened to her daughter, but children's services came to her house. And her daughter had a burn on her ankle. She's not even one. Your Honor, it's not a burn. What happened famous. to her daughter Pardon? at all? I don't know what happened to her. But Children's Services were at her house. I even offered did for her, her family. Did they remove the child? No, they didn't remove the child. Okay. Um, I don't know what happened with it all, all right. together. But, I mean, she already had a case. Okay. I've never had a problem with Children's Services. All right. Services. You want to give me any more background? So far, you've just told me that um, how she defamed you and... <laughs> Uh, had you falsely um, inspected by yeah. law enforcement. That's the children's services are law enforcement. No, I thought she was a genuinely nice person mm -hmm. up until the loan came about, and I realized that really she's not. She just uses okay. people. What else do you want to tell me before we get to the loans and the stolen clothes? She's um, suing you for. My CSB case, it was open and shut. My daughter, blisters became about because the sock was too tight, and it was overnight. Because what was too tight? The sock. And it was only on one ankle. How old was the child? She was three months. Okay. And then they came out. Looked. How'd they find out? I took her. I took her to the doctor. Okay. Go and ahead. they found out. Like the CSB got called. They mm -hmm. came to my house, and not even two weeks later, I had a note saying All that right. it was dropped. Anything else you want me to know before we get into the specifics of the loan? Um, that I called CSB on her because I felt I felt. Like, it was right. I've heard that. And she I can heard. sit there and say she can call CSB on all she wants. Mm -hmm. But I have a witness. You, I take care of my kids. You have a witness that she was starving her kids? Yes, I do. I have a witness, Your Honor. How does your witness know? Uh, because my witness, before her and my brother started dating, uh -huh. they were all friends. Uh-huh. And, and she, she was see, always see over her there. starving her children regularly. Yes, and smoking pot and, mar and doing crack We're talking about the starving. We're yes. talking about the starving. Yes, sure. All Honor. right. You, you want to come up? State your name. Lindsay Fritchie. Mm-hmm. What do you want to tell me? Um, I don't know about the starving. I don't okay, know about that. Okay, thank you. Thank Have you. A seat. <laughs> All right. So far, your credibility is zero in here. It's going to take you a whole lot to win this case. We're yes. talking about the starving. Yeah, sure. All right. You, you want to come up? State your name. Lindsay Fritchie. Mm-hmm. What do you want to tell me? Um, I don't know about the starving. I don't okay, know about that. Okay, thank you. Thank Have you. A seat. <laughs> All right. Plaintiff Kathy Bays is suing her former friend, who admits that she called CPS on Kathy because she buys drugs instead of feeding her children. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, You're suing her for loan and yes. stolen clothing. And Tell there, me about it. From there, I gave her $2,000. When and why? On February 27th. She told me she had to fix her her truck window. Of 13 yes, this year? this year. She told she to, you? She had to fix her truck window. It was broke. Mm -hmm. It was broke. There was snow coming in her when car. When was she to repay the 2000 When she got her income tax. <laughs> I know. I watch her show every day on a sketch. No, and you you're don't. Not, you I must do, not. And I've learned from this, I will never give anybody a dime again. All right. Uh, when the income tax time came, what happened? Oh, she told me that she didn't get her taxes at first. It was she just didn't get it. And then after that, it got deposited in somebody else's bank account. <laughs> and did you ever tell her that? Your Honor, it did. It got put on a it, it, the people that I went to put instead of putting it on like direct deposit in my account, they put it on a prepaid debit card. Did they ever straighten it out? Yes. How long afterwards? Almost two weeks. So did you give it to her then? No, because by th by then this is all happening. What is all happening? Her suing me. So if you'd have paid her her money, she wouldn't have sued you. And you had the money to pay her, right? Because it came back in two weeks. She was straight now. 
Well, no, because they took longer than, I mean, like, you I... You said it took two weeks. Well, yeah, after, <laughs> a, a, after I found out that it was no, on no, a prepaid no, 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 no. debit card. Two weeks before they gave you your money back. Yeah. So when they give you your money back, the exact money that you were going to Your Honor, to I don't her. even have her number no more. She changed her number, so oh, there's no way that later, I could... you had... No I couldn't, number on nope. her? You had no way of reaching her two weeks later. I could have went to her house, but I refused not. I, I don't want to go there. And she never contacted you about it? No, she contacted my husband about it. Your and Honor, I have evidence here that I was trying to get a hold of her. Let's see. Over and over. And I have more messages here that I'm just referring to. You, you ever hear anything about your taxes? Nope. I forgot to call today. Do it work? If not, can you bring my clothes here? Nope. Can you run me tomorrow after school to get some groceries and bring my clothes? I have school all day, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Education you get, you should be. It's not only my you should school, be a genius. It's my son. You should be a genius. Not quite there yet, because it's otherwise not, you wouldn't have lied to me two school, or three times. Have a good school. day. Judgment for Thank the you, plaintiff. Your, Honor. your case is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't want to say nothing to her, because she can just go shoot up some more pot. You shoot up pot? You're a liar. You're, You're the one that does this all the time, and you shake. Do you realize how stupid you look? Do you know how stupid you look? I'm the one that lied to the judge. That's why you're the one that had CSB called on you and they invested you. You called you. CSB on me. Yes, I did, and yeah, I had a pathetic. good reason. Yeah, you had oh, a good really? reason. That's why there was That's nothing. why you'd rather spend money on drugs and everything else. That's why well. I own my own house you and you live in an attic. You live in an attic. You had a cop fix your well. So it doesn't matter who fixed it. My well was fixed.